There's no evergreen that I like more than a white pine. I love to touch the white pine and I just love the way that they look. The trees behind me are trees that I planted about a decade ago. I also shared them from the time they were three years in the ground to create these beautiful, full looking trees that you see now. Stay tuned, we're gonna go through how I did that. So I'm going to go ahead and shear this tree up and let's look at kind of how the growth is. So this is the third year that this white pine has been in the ground since I planted it. I planted it um, as a bare root tree, like a year old sapling. And let's kind of look at how it's grown over the years. So the current growth is this year's growth stems from here and goes up. That's 18 inches, which is a lot. And if we look at the previous year's growth was maybe about 12 inches. And the year before that, maybe about 12 inches as well. By pruning or shearing the tree, it will set more growth points and it will help the tree fill out and look beautiful like some of the other trees. I'll do some B-roll so you can see. But we're gonna go ahead and get started. So to get started, what you're gonna want is a shear to do this. You could use a hand pruner too if you have just a couple but I'm gonna use a shear on this. You wanna take 30% off the central leader. You wanna prune around it so it can maintains a conical form. So I'm gonna start by just again nipping the, the top third off, and I'm gonna go around and just gently prune the side shoots. And again, you don't wanna take more than 30% off. But everywhere that I prune, it will set out another set of growth uh, buds and, and it's going to just really make the tree fill out and look really nice. So let's go look at a few more. On this tree, I have a situation where I have uh, the top central leader has died. We had a really bad uh, ice storm, well, like two or three of them actually over the winter. And I think that's what... Um, hurt this one. So I'm going to take this back to the next layer and what will happen is one of these will start becoming the central leader and I'll probably pick this one to be the central leader meaning I'll cut this one a little bit shorter and this one will continue to grow upward and it will uh, take over. But to encourage that I'm going to actually prune some of these lower branches. So I'm going to shear back some of these other branches. Again, trying to maintain that conical shape and letting it um, do what it needs to do. This is going to take a few prunings to get there. But we only do this once a year in the spring. And then I'll clean up my mess later and, and put that in my, my compost. So here's another one. Again, I'm going to take only the top third off. And I'm just going to prune down and away to maintain that conical shape. It's a very easy process. It's well worth it. This one's a little bit shorter. Still I'm going to do the same process. Top third and then go down. a little bushy but I'm gonna leave it like that another one same thing central leader and then go down and out and you want to make sure you have one that's truly sticking out higher than the rest of them it's such an easy thing to do nice conical form and it's much easier to start this when the trees are smaller. Here's an example where there's no one established central leader. So we definitely want to make sure that when we do the pruning, we pick one to be the central leader and then we want to cut the other one really short. So I'm going to take this one as a central leader and I'm going to push this one down short. I'm going to 
prune some of these away. Some grass coming up through there. You can see I clearly have a central leader here now. Here's another one. Top third. I'm picking that as a central leader. I'm going to take these down quite a bit. So as you can see from this line of trees here, I sheared the spruce in the same way. Um, I haven't done it for about two years, but it really fills in. Let's get in a little bit close so you can see how the different growth points really took off and they created more bud unions or bud joints. So you can see this tree is really quite compact. It's quite beautiful how tight the needles are on these. If we go in here, you can see where I would have taken some prunings probably a couple of years ago. I would have taken the cuts here, and then it created all this additional growth points, which is why this all filled out. So it takes a couple of years for them to really take off. And over a two-year period of time, you start to see the efforts of, of the prunes that you made to come in here. It's probably the last prune was probably deep in the canopy here. It's been two years since I've pruned this, so I think it looks pretty good. But it just puts out more and more growth points, and that's what makes the trees look full. It's just absolutely gorgeous. This tree is about seven years old. We dug these out from my dad's property when they were probably about 12 inches tall. Again, I would have started shearing when they were in the ground for three years, but what a beautiful tree. Here's another one. It's looking quite shaggy. I could probably come in and reshear it, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to leave it be. I do have my irrigation running this morning. I use a train sprinkler water selectively where I need and I usually run it overnight so I get one inch of rain once a week which is what they need the trees and the grass and stuff needs to be healthy to take a closer look at where the buds are so this would be like next year's buds so by taking the prunes it will set up more buds for next year and then the branching will become more dense and thick and that's how this works so every time you take a shear on anything or do any kind of pruning, it helps to set out more um, branching, which is true with almost all trees. And it becomes just a beautiful, beautiful tree. So you can see this is really an easy process. It's important you do it in the early spring when the candles are still closed and they don't fully open uh, to get the best result. So if this video is helpful, give us a thumbs up so YouTube knows to share this content with others. Also, check my propagation playlist in the description below. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.